all the new booties out there. Zenonia S guide. Um, I don't really see anybody making any guides of how to play, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and um, just get started right here. So the first thing you want to do is uh, click that stage button and uh, this, in stages this is where you get your gear, your unidentified boxes, everything to help you for enhancing your gear and moving through the game. So it, it gets harder as you get further on. So what you want to do is um, save these things called sweep tickets you're going to get. You get them daily, they come in the mailbox, you get them in a lot of different ways. You don't want to use them because stages are very easy and you might get that one hard stage where you want to get through it quickly, you want to get the items from it, but you have no sweep tickets. So you want to save these sweep tickets, do not use them, keep them to like the last minute, like an EXP event or something. That would be the best time to use it. So instead of the sweep tickets, what you want to do, you want to just waste your stam and you don't want to do anything, push battle waves. Yeah, uh, you want to just click the amount you can do. It will automatically put you through a little thing here. I canceled it there. And um, that's basically it for that. It will just carry you through the stages. And you can use characters now, which is new to me. That wasn't there before. But yeah, that's basically one thing you can do. So, with all the drops you've gotten, you want to go to your character. Those are unidentified items. Those are probably pretty good for the stage I just showed you. That's the one I got them from. But basically this is your armor, you want to be upgrading your armor as high as possible to the SSS rank. And your accessories, you get those, and you want to get those as high as possible eat also. But those are harder to get than armor. So for your armor, you have your little stats here. Those are uh, those can be re-rolled, uh, crit damage, dex, and all that. Those can be all re-rolled, and you can get them like, they're random. And then the little colorful spots, these are gems. Uh, you can get different gem spots depending on how you farm your gear, but these are the types of gems you can have. There's attack, crit damage, crit rate for the reds, and then there's HP defense, as you can see here, and you'll see the ones you get. Never put potion effect rate on there unless you want um, all your stacks max. I'm just kidding. But yeah, anyways, um, you want, um, yeah, you want stats like this on your armor, basically. But yeah, those are the... These are the little slots. You see how they're all different every time I click one. See, that one's different. So you want to kind of get the ones you want. At S rank, it shows you all three that you're going to get. But at SSS, you get a fourth slot. And that's when it gets difficult. You might not get, like, a perfect red slotted armor. Like, you want all attack on your armor or crit damage. So, anyways, here's um the awakening area. You want to... um to fairy tower to get the awakening stones to help you with the awakening your character awakening gives you more skill points and uh, stat points and increases the max skill level so two star you get 15 five star 12 etc etc you'll see as you get further but you, you gotta like prioritize your days you want to farm fairy tower because that's also where you get the soul power or not soul powder, fairy powder, that helps you level up your fairy, which is um, also very important. So some days you might have to dedicate your stamina to your fairy, and some days you have to dedicate your stamina to leveling and getting gear. So that's just one thing you got to figure out when you play. Okay, remember when I show you the gems? This is where you'd be making them. You get a certain amount of slots depending on your VIP rank, but if you don't feel like this... Buying more money for VIP rank, you can make more alts, and they have their own slots too. So you could put these through your storage, give them to your alts, and they can make them for you. It's a really good tactic, and it helps you save time and increase making your gems faster. They have gems from uh, starting from D, C, B, A, all the way to SSS. Same with armor. So basically, you depending on your stages you're on now, you're probably in the beginners. You're gonna probably get C and D. So as you get higher, I, I get like only B's and A's, and you can just keep making them till you get S rank, then you get SSS, and then after that, you need to make SSS, which is going to require probably like four or five SS gems to make. It's, it's going to be a lot, like depending on the, 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 the gear tier or the gem tier, it's going to be like you need like higher tier gems to help upgrade it. And uh, here's uh, Monster Wave. This is where you have like a timed amount of time to um, clear monsters. And, and as you do these, usually every week it resets and they give you Zen. See at the top, you saw how 
I get 10 or 20 if I finish those. These, like starting at 7, give 60s in. Uh, difficulty 6 gives 60, and then 5 gives 50, 4 gives 40. Really good way to get Zen, and this is where you get your weapon stones and armor stones, depending on the difficulty you do. You need these. Um, this is your mailbox. You kind of want to check these daily. They give you a lot of cool things from um, you know, a lot of stuff, like stamina sometimes. You want to keep stamina in there, like waiting for an ESP event. You know ESP event's coming, so you just hold up all your stamina in here. And then when it's ready, you just go ahead and take it all out and use it on whatever you want. So it's really, really, really convenient. And sometimes when your inventory gets full, your stuff will be sent here. And then when you can clear it, you can come get it out of here. Very, very helpful and something you got to check like multiple times. Especially if you finish achievements and stuff, they'll send you rewards to mailbox. So make sure you check this. And that's basically it. Mailbox. Events. Uh, there's a little event tab when you start the game. It's always flashing. Makes you think there's something going on. But, yeah, I mean, there's something going on, but there's just nothing really special. But basically, here's all the events going on. The moon cake drops. That's what's dropping in raid. When You know, when you click raid you, and uh, you click that question mark by the boss you're about to fight, it shows what's uh, drops. It shows the drops of moon cakes and moon cookies in there. So... Right now, the event going on that you can click in here and actually interact with is complete the mission. The rest of them are in game. So go ahead and click complete the mission or whatever event's going on right now. So actually, I have more done on this, but I think it, sometimes these things glitch up and it just doesn't record some of your, your missions done. For this one, you can only do five of your daily missions um, at a time, so I've done my, I've done at least two today. I'm at 51. I've done two today, so I got three more to go. But yeah, basically, this is all you do. But yeah, with that aside, that's basically it. Um, this uh, Zen Zen OES is a really fun game. Uh, if you played all the other ones, you'll probably see some new things or things related to the older games but you know this is basically what you do in this game it's very good it's easy to keep track of but yeah the best thing to do is just try and have fun with it and take your time but that's about it if you got any questions just leave a comment i'll try to answer the best i can but thanks for watching uh see you again